In Bihar, a three-party coalition emerges between Congress, JDU and RJD for the forthcoming bipoles to 10 assembly seats due next month. JDU and RJD to fight in four seats each, while Congress to contest two seats. External Affairs Minister Shushma Swaraj meets Nepalese Prime Minister Shushil Koirala. Hopes that all parties in Nepal will work for an inclusive constitution. Co-chairs the meeting of Nepal-India Joint Commission in Kathmandu. Situation in Saranpur town of Uttar Pradesh remains tense but under control. Death toll in yesterday's clashes goes up to three. State government announces ex-gratia of 10 lakh rupees to the next of kin of those killed. In international news, Israel accepts UN offer to extend the ceasefire period for another 24 hours. Hamas continues to rocket its rocket attacks. Death toll in Israeli attacks in Gaza crosses 1,000. And in sports, India continues to shine in the Glasgow Commonwealth Games. Shooters bag two gold and a silver. India's medals tally goes up to 17, including five gold medals. And then cricket, the third test between India and England to begin at Southampton today. India looks to extend its lead to 2-0 in the series by winning the test.